Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a short trade on the NASDAQ. Now, the way that this is setting up, I'm going to manage this one a little bit differently than we would normally manage a setup. We're initially going to float a relatively large stop at 73 and three quarter. Uh, and we'll explain that in a minute. Let me get these other targets in place here. So we'll get these two stacked up and that will go down here uh, and we'll drop that at 46 half the overall major first target at 54 and a quarter. So everything looking really solid. The one big thing that we're taking note of is the fact that this is a really big trade. It's a huge wave pattern. So because of that being such a large pattern, we do have to manage it slightly differently. You don't necessarily just want to drop your stop smack on the highs right here because there's a good chance it's just going to whip back, stop you out and then go exactly exactly where you thought it was going to go. And right here, we actually just saw that I had to move it pretty quick because it moved, it moved kind of fast there, but it triggers you in. It'll go right back up, probably stop you out if you didn't move it fast enough. And then now we're looking for that fall down. As we get more price action in our direction, we can look to move our stop in a little bit farther down. But because it's such a large wave pattern, you don't really want to play with fire. You're much safer just making sure that you've got a wide enough stop so the market can do whatever it needs to do before starting to go back in your direction. The setup itself looks absolutely beautiful. We came right out of the trigger zone. Beautiful trigger zone test. We're seeing rejection back down again. Now it's just a matter of seeing it and letting it do its thing. So as we get a little bit closer, especially once we start breaking the BMT down here, then we'll lock our stop in a little bit closer. But for our first target, we're looking to lock in 13 points. We're taking two off there, so 26 points. And then the final push down at 46 half for 20 points, 20 and three quarter points on the way back down. So again, if you're not super familiar with the NASDAQ, it ticks just like the S&P, four ticks to a point. So 13 and 13 is 26, plus another 20.75 and 20.75. That's 67 and a half points total. Uh, so 67 and a half points by itself is a, a massive run, but there's four ticks for every point. So that's 270 ticks total on the move. Now, 270 ticks at $5 a tick, that's 1350, right? So lots and lots of movement down. And even though we're only taking four contracts on this because of the initial risk size, we've got more than enough room and more than enough profit to be built into the trade that it makes complete sense. Now that we've gotten our move back down to the BMT and we know that price does want to turn around, now we can lock our stop in a little bit tighter. 70 and a quarter is going to be the stop now. And you'll see how fast, even though we are already in positive risk reward, how fast that risk reward just ratcheted in. We're at like a four to one now, or five to one in terms of risk reward on the setup. Now it's just a matter of letting it do its thing. We're just after 10 o'clock. There's not really any news today. Maybe a slow grind all the way down. It is a big wave pattern after all, but overall looking for that first target at 54 and a quarter. All right, seeing the sellers push in very aggressively, beautiful move down there, and then we got our target filled. So we got that first target at 54 and a quarter filled, and this is where we can actually have a little bit of fun with the setup. We have a beautiful rundown. We have our first target. We definitely want to go to at least break even, but one thing you'll notice, all of these moves down are respecting the cloud. We're seeing that cloud respect coming into play here. So knowing that we're respecting that cloud, you can be a little bit more aggressive and trail along with the cloud. You could also be even a little bit more conservative and lock all the way down by the BMT, just understanding that if the BMT breaks, you really don't want to hang on to the trade anymore. And I think we're going to take the more conservative approach. So locking in with a BMT and just letting it do its thing, a couple ticks behind it, not a big deal. And we'll just let the trade work its way down. But first target filled 13 points all the way down to that first target. And now we have this next target. Uh, our stop is already locked into a six and a half point um, profit regardless. So more than enough profit built into the trade already. Uh, and we're just kind of waiting for continuation of the move. So next target down at 46 half. It's not the fastest moving thing in the world. It has been a decent amount of time. It's about 10 minutes. Uh, well, from our entry going on about 20 minutes now, uh, working its way a little bit lower. But again, with such a big wave pattern, you just got to give it room and let it do its thing. Overall on the day, we are hyper, hyper bearish. Uh, and you can see just by zooming out a little bit more why we're so interested in selling, right? We definitely want to be on the sell side. And one big thing that's kind of standing out for us if we look at this movement overall after that gigantic sell lower we really just kind of ended up as a range and this is why we're so interested in selling up here because we're selling the highs of the range so sell high buy low that's kind of the motto of a range we're just looking to take our final target at the range lows and lock in that last portion of profit so we'll let it do its thing again we're just going to trail along with the bmt here as it falls lower and we'll see if we get that final target at 46 half 
All right, sellers back on the move here. We're making another attempt at the lows. We came, let's see, yeah, one tick away. So let's, oh, no, we don't, I guess we don't have to move the stop at all. We got the target filled. Absolutely gorgeous move down. It did take a decent amount of time to get going, about a half hour uh, to get that final push down. But that locks in 270 ticks. It's $1,350 overall in just four contracts. And you can just see a beautiful setup that did require a little bit of a heavier stop to get the move going, right? A lot of times we don't know if it's going to turn around right exactly there. So there's no sense in locking your stop in too close. Then you just get whipped out and you move this beautiful move down. And you end up missing it. So giving it the room that it needs, putting it at the highs of the trigger zone here, letting the trigger zone do its work. When you start seeing it turn around, then you know you can lock your stop in, and that gave us all the room we need to trail it all the way back down. It came kind of close, caught a little bit of a double bottom. I'm sure a lot of folks would have just exited there. Uh, you, I don't blame you, right? You know, coming two ticks away from your target instead of one, I like really following that one tick area. But either way, if you got out early or if you waited for that final target, you got them all filled. Just a gorgeous move down. So that's going to be the setup. 270 ticks, 1350 bucks. Beautiful wave pattern, short last chance wave. If you have any questions about it, feel free to shoot an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.